Okay, if you think that crows are scary, what if I told you that there is another bird that is a parasite to crows specifically? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. Hey, hello. So, everyone knows what a crow is, right? Right, it's this fella. And this here is the house crow, and you find them everywhere. But as common as they are, Singapore only has one native species of crow and it is not those house crows that you saw just now because our one true native crow is the large-billed crow or also commonly known as the jungle crow. So if you look closely enough, it is actually fairly easy to tell these two apart. Right? For our native large-billed crow, they are actually fully black. But for the house crow, they have this collar that is actually a grey colour. However, if now you're like super eager to go out and spot the difference, uh, you do need to know that our native large-built crow is unfortunately less common and they do usually hang around our forested areas, right? As its other name says, it's a jungle crow. And sadly, their numbers have also been decreasing due to urbanisation and the cutting down of our forests and possibly also from competition from the house crows who are more adaptable to our urban environments. And I mean, to begin with, these house crows are already considered an invasive species. So these house crows were originally from India, but a long time ago, a few of them were actually brought into Malaysia to help with pest control. However, apparently, some of these crows managed to hitchhike on ship rides and they somehow found their way into Singapore as well. And so number one, on top of being very adaptable, crows in general are just very intelligent creatures, right? Having even developed skills such as the use of tools or being able to recognise faces. And then number two, these house crows will instinctively become a little bit more aggressive during the breeding period, right? With these birds attacking other animals and even humans who just happen to be close to their eggs and nests. And so, with all of these factors combined, they have established themselves as not only one of the most common birds in Singapore, but also an imposing bird that, to be honest, a lot of people are scared of. But with that said, these crows are not the main boogeyman of this video because even though they are smart and imposing and sometimes aggressive, these crows are still victims to a bird parasite. And this parasite is none other than the Asian Coel, or more commonly known as the Uwu bird. Okay, yes, it is another black bird, but these Coels can be easily recognized by their red eyes, and the females are also brown instead of black. So the Asian Coel is a native species that belongs to a genus of birds called the cuckoos. And a common trait that many cuckoo birds have is that they are brute parasites. So brute parasitism means that they will manipulate another species so that their victims will actually help to take care of their young. And in the case of the Asian Coels of Singapore, they predominantly target the house crows. So what happens is that a pair of coels will actually seek out a crow's nest that is filled with eggs. And then when they see that the nest is unattended, the female coel will actually go in and lay her egg amongst all the other crow eggs. And in the process, she may even throw one of the original crow eggs out of the nest so as to make things look less suspicious. And as you can see, both their eggs actually look very identical to each other. So the coel eggs would usually hatch first and when that happens, the coel chick you know, acts and sounds just like any regular crow chick. And that's why you know, the parent crows would actually blur blur come and feed that coel. But what they don't know is that this baby coel would gradually become louder and more pushy during feeding time and they will actually outgrow their own crow chicks and you know, that's actually very tough competition for you know, the other crows. And so sometimes, some of their own crow chicks may not even get fed well and hence may not even make it to adulthood. Is that why they call it a murder of crows? 
Okay, bad joke, but uh, yes, as sad as this sounds, this is actually a much needed process because this is the most natural way to help control the numbers of house crows. And like I said, the house crow is actually a invasive species. And balance is very important in nature. But that being said, please don't hit on either the crows or the quails because although, yes, one is imposing and one is very noisy, this is just a result of, you know, how intelligent these birds are. Right, I actually remember reading articles of individuals actually befriending the crows around our neighbourhoods and even teaching them tricks and in this video I even told you how scheming corals can be. And so yeah, although they do annoy us from time to time, I do think that these birds actually have to add colour and you know, some spice to living beside nature. Right, and who knew that the lives of birds can become so dramatic and metal? And I don't know about you, uh, but that makes me want to be a more forgiving person just because of how unforgiving nature is. But talking about forgiveness, uh, I hope you forgive me because this is the end of today's episode. But before we leave, I'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spotman, you know, no, 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 England, HR, Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nana, Nasi Lemak, Jelly, Jets, Kappa, AA, 5, Pingu, Master, Jablock, Tango, Amal, Delo, Neko, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Justin, Leyland, Angkok, Kiong, Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacy, and no! <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly, and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and remember, Keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there who will try to make you take care of their babies. But then, crows are also so scary. But who is the real scary one? I don't know. Ooh! Okay, bye-bye.